Marianne is with us. Marianne's in Boise, Idaho. Hi, Marianne. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Well, my husband and I own our own business. Um, our business requires us to drive quite a bit, and we both are driving big gas guzzler cars. Mm -hmm. um, we'd have to go into debt to trade out one of our cars and, and even to buy whoa, a whoa, used whoa, whoa, car. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. What, what, what is your big gas guzzler worth? Not a lot. Well, I have a uh, 2003 Chevy Trailblazer. That's worth that what? Only, uh, I'd say 5000 at the most. Okay, you're driving a $5,000 car now. Why could you not drive, fi drive a $5,000 car that wasn't a gas guzzler? Well, that's the whole thing. of the, the fear that I have of getting another used car and not sure how it's been maintained, if it's going to have problems. I know my car has been maintained meticulously. Yeah, you're driving a used car with a lot of miles on it. Yeah. I don't care how meticulously and, it's been maintained. Yes. And so, you know, to get a comparable car that gets good gas mileage. Oh, with, you're getting ready to tell me you had to get a comparable car to your car. You have to go into debt. That's ridiculous. You think? Yeah, I think. You think you're the only person on the planet that meticulously maintains a car that's worth $5,000? No. no. Okay. So you say I don't accept. I don't accept your pre presupposition here that this requires debt for you to get a reliable car. You're driving a car that's reliable. It just happens to have gas guzzling. How many miles are you driving? Uh, between fifty and seventy a day. And so, what does your gas bill run? Uh, my well, my husband drives a big, bigger gas guzzler, a big truck. What's his big truck um, we, worth? We spend between five and six hundred a month. Okay, Sometimes and so if you more, cut it in we, half, it's 250 a month. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And what's your household income? Well, we just started this business about a year and a half ago, and basically we're still running in the red. How are you eating? Savings. Crud. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so we're trying and, to and do so whatever when is the business going to be profitable? Well, we we thought it would be by now, and that's why I'm looking at what can we cut. What is still so high and that's eating into our yeah, what do you, What is your monthly expenditures now? What's it take a month to stay afloat? Mm, I mean, personally or for the business? I guess the whole thing because you're having to write the checks for all of it. Yeah, I would say twenty five hundred a month. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is 10% of your problem, and I'm not going into debt to solve any problem, but I'm certainly not for 10% of your problem because $250 a month is the gas savings if you save both of them. Now, what's his truck worth? Oh, he won't sell his truck. He'd, he'd have to go get another something on the side. He's got a 2003 GMC pickup that he spent 55000 for, and it's only worth about twelve. so he will never sell that. Okay. See, I don't think I can help you because, um, you know, you, you've got all these false parameters in your life that aren't real. Um, he will never sell his truck, but you're willing to sell your car and go into debt for a car, another used car. Um, you know, this is just, you're just, you're out there too far. Seriously. I don't think I can reel you back in. Thank you for the call though.